This video will show you how to use Google Drawing to create headers for your Canvas homepage or content pages. Please note there are other tools to create headers, such as Adobe Spark and Canva, but this video will focus solely on Google Drawing. We recommend creating a Google Drive folder to house the graphics you create for Canvas. This will keep everything organized and in one place. Once in my Canvas graphics folder, I'll click New, More, then select Google Drawing. Here is a blank canvas. First, I'll name the file Canvas Homepage Header. Then I will use the Canvas Design Cheat Sheet to check the recommended dimensions for a header. We have three options. For this particular header, I will use the dimensions for a medium rectangle header, which is 750 by 250 pixels. When I click back to my Google Drawing tab, I will click File, Page Setup, and then use the drop down arrow to select Custom. Here is where I will put the pixel dimensions. First change inches to pixels, and then type in the dimensions, 750 by 250. Now your blank Google Drawing Canvas is the correct dimensions and you can begin designing your header. To start, I will insert a text box that is slightly smaller than the canvas. If I wanted rounded edges, I could insert a rounded rectangular shape. Now I will begin customizing the fill color and the border color. I will set the fill color to a dark blue. Next I'll add my text. Let's say my course is astronomy. I can change the font and a great shortcut in Google Drawing is Command Shift plus the greater or less than arrows on the same keys as the comma and period. This shortcut will allow you to quickly increase or decrease your font size without adjusting the font size on the toolbar. Very handy. Now that I have my text, I want to add an image. You can add any image. For this header, I will search the web. I'm going to type in astronomy transparent background. By typing in transparent background, I will only get images that do not have a background color. I'll start with these stars. Because my stars have a black outline, I think I'll add an outline to my header. I may try adding an outline to my text to match the outline on the stars and header. To do so, go to Insert, then select Word Art. After I type in the word, I'll select the same font as before. Now that my header is complete, I will download it. Go to File, Download As, and select PNG. PNG gives you the best quality for adding an image to a website. If you are wanting to create headers for content pages, you can simply go to File, Make a Copy, and change the text and your images. Again, there are other tools to create headers, but Google Drawing is a great place to start. You can see that the possibilities are endless when designing headers.